it's indeed a important day for Kapil Group since we are signing a new agreement for the second property and barring unforeseen circumstances we should be able to sign sometime next year in Amaravati and also Vizag. Again, we are yet to acquire lands, properties there. Basically, this property has been doing well with pretty good occupancy right from the second month. It has all happened with the support of Oakwood from Singapore and Mr. Ho Shang, the director of Operations India. But for them, I don't think uh, we would have been able to render the service that this hotel is giving to its clients. It's been a very good experience, and I wish it will grow from strength to strength and uh, years to come. Thank you all for accepting our invitation and coming over here. Members of the press, media, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, a very good afternoon to you all. Um, I'm extremely delighted um, and honoured to be here today at the signing ceremony between uh, Oakwood and the Capital Group. Um, as a representative of Oakwood Worldwide Asia Pacific, um, it's, it's a, certainly a great honour. Um, India is a, a fast emerging market in the travel and tourism sector. And business travels to India are growing at a much faster pace compared to most geographical regions around the world. And it is this potential that motivates Oakwood to set up operations in this high market or growth market environment. The ever-growing demand and the future potential in, the India, in India is compelling for us to scout for more strategic locations to start Oakwood properties. And in line with this, the upcoming Oakwood Hotel and Apartments Complex in Shamshabad that will be set up in association with the Capital Group. We are delighted to have a strategic partner like Capital Group who understands the geography, geography better and helps us put the right strides forward. Coming to Oakwood in the Asia Pacific region, the group has a total of 36 operating properties today and with another five to six that will open by year's end. Countries like Japan, India and China continue to be our growth markets, along with India. In addition to the above stated regions, Oakwood sees great potential market in India and will be prepared to take the right decisions at the right time about this market. Today we currently have four properties in India operational and as uh, Hoshang uh, kindly said, this particular pop property here in Hyderabad is leading the market and uh, really leading Oakwood um, in India. With a property and a partner as successful as the couple group and Hyderabad property that we have today, it only helps elevate our ability to reach out to a wider network in India to grow our portfolio. We hope that this partnership with Capital continues to flourish further as we grow stronger with the Oakwood brand in India. I would like to thank Mr. Vaman Rao and Harita Rao for their continuous support and all of our friends from the media in joining this event today. Um, a lot of the credit must go to the team that we have here at the property in Hyderabad um, under the leadership of Mr. Ho Shank, who's done an outstanding job, not only to be general manager of this particular property, but our director of operations in India, who oversees our, uh, our entire India portfolio. So thank you, Ho Shang, and thank you to the team. With that, I would now like to open up the floor to any questions that the media may have um, about the property um, upcoming. Thank you very much again for joining us today. It's operating Sorry, 36 operating properties in 10 countries um, around the region. Um, as uh, Mr. Hoshang said, we currently have four operating properties in India um, and uh, are looking to continue that expansion. Um, Oakwood Asia Pacific, I would say, over the last uh, five years or even a bit longer, has been fairly um, uh, active in other regions around the world, China, Indonesia, um, Japan being one of our largest markets. We are certainly now uh, ever more focused on continuing our expansion and looking for, for great partners to work with, like the Capital Group. Um, as I said earlier, we're a pure management company. We manage assets on behalf of owner. Um, and it's, it's always a difficult choice to find the right operator. Um, but more importantly, from our point of view, is to find the right owner. Uh, with the Capital Group, we certainly have the right owner. Um, and when an owner um, entrusts you not only with one asset, but to now be signing a second asset, 
that's a, a true testament of a partnership um, and the great relationship that we do have um, with each other and, and that will continue with the great success that we've had here in Hyderabad and with our second property opening uh, in, a number, in a few years' time. Uh, further to what Paul has said, I would like to add that not only in India, um, A Shakti and would like to continue a relationship with Oakwood. So whoever has one property has signed, whether it's the Bangalore owner or in, you know, Asia. Okay. Uh, if you compare with the hotel industry, uh, which one is the better margins, yours or uh, hotel industry, general, normal hotel industry? I'll take that service department industry as a, as a higher operators management. Um, it's typically uh, less staff are involved uh, in operating a service department than there are uh, traditional hotels. Um, there is typically less food and beverage, which is your higher component um, of uh, in a hotel operation. Though I think the, the, one of the largest benefits for a, a service department owner is that asset can be uh, reclassified uh, into future development for residential if they wish to sell that on in future years, where when you build a hotel, you build a hotel room and that's all it's going to be. To redesign and, and reconfigure that's going to cost an additional uh, amount of money, whereas at the offset, you're building a service department which can then be converted potentially into a resi if you wish to. Generally, how much percentage is the EBITDA in, uh, in service apartments? Varies from region to region. Um, you know, there, there's certainly uh, different nuances within different countries around the world from a, a cost structure. Um, labor in certain parts of the world is a lot more expensive. But we run anything from a, you know, typically we try and run it around the mid-50s uh, to even higher uh, from a GOP point of view in, in certain locations. Can you elaborate something on this uh, current properties, uh, financials like revenue and other? Hotel. What happens is you will not be able to compare both apple to apple because a service apartment is more square feet per key. The investment is higher investment for a service apartment. Whereas for a hotel room it's much smaller, so investment is less. So basically what happens, the cost and all, and when you are speaking about returns, EB earnings before uh, taxation and uh, other things. Everything again depends on the occupancy, the demand, at what rate your top line revenue you are able to attract. Unless you have proper service, there's no way you will be able to attract a client. So it's really not appropriate to give a benchmark and say this is the percentage you could get. Everything depends on the operation, market conditions and other things. In case you are looking at figures, they're all bluff which are away from reality. In case you want those figures, then you can write any figure. Does it make sense? Thank you, sir. Uh, apartments, I mean, uh, uh, apartments available today, service apartments. So in comparison to that, where do you see yourself in terms of a USP? Here what happened is uh, in 2009 or 10 when we thought of constructing uh, a hotel here, this location is not a tourist place. So basically, it's all IT, so we thought uh, people would come here and stay longer, for a longer period. That's the reason we had gone in for service department. So service department, when we compare this with other service departments or other things which are in the market, this is basically a professionally run organization, Oakwood. From couple group, I think the only contribution is not to interfere in today to management. That's our biggest contribution. We have done exactly what we could want it, and we have been fully cooperating. So I think that since they are a professionally managed organization, they are definitely able to make the client who comes here refer to other clients, others. They go back with a good feeling. So it's ultimately, it's all about management rather than saying service department as an industry. It's not as if all hotels run the same, with the same bottom line. Everything, again, depends on the service and all. I think uh, definitely I'm thankful for uh, <coughs> Oakwood, Mr. Hoshang and his team. They've uh, done an excellent uh, job so far. Because that's the feedback we get back uh, from the customers, the clients who stay in the hotel. Vaman Rao Garam, this side. Uh, how much do you invest in VAP properties and what are the uh, nature of the properties? Okay, we are not yet acquired. So, yeah, since we are not yet acquired land, okay. So I'll be just, there's no point uh, mm -hmm. 
Are they hotels or combined service departments and hotels? They are yet to acquire some land. So basically, in case, so what happens is Amravati or uh, Vishakhapatnam, IT also in case it develops, it improves, then I think we would prefer a service department. Here what happens is any person who stays in a service department, the rooms are bigger, it's much more uh, flexible, they're much more comfortable, and that's, that could be the reason they're coming back here. So, but what happens is from the investor, there's higher investment that goes as far as the building is concerned. So number of rooms for the same area, you could have got more rooms in a hotel. Lord willing, it should. So there, there's an airport, so we don't know. In fact, even when we started off, the adjacent tower, Kapil Towers, I think we had, uh, it took three years for us to get the whole building occupied. Iwala, Okud, Worldwide, Wala Thwane, Indranate, second Rindo service department, Shamshabadla, Nuta Debai, Gadul Thwane, Pette Dhan Kurke, and that's how agreements on the call in it. Manu Prasutam unna Okud Residency at the Kachuboli Luna Dho. Adi enna ita manchya naadustan dhika vatti second property yuvala santh committed on zargi indi. 2021 anti ko mood samathra lal le enna ita manak adi prarama maya avukasha munna di. Kipadwar ke enna ita maak Okud Thwani Wala Association manch kuna dhika vatti second hotel अलग तरह एग्रीमेंट संतकाल जेड हम जरिए इन्दी इनको को भविष्य तले इन्दर ने इनको का रेंडमूड होटल्स कोड़ा वाला तो नहीं पेटाले ने उद्देश्य मिला दिन तो सेकेंड डे देते पेट पेट तो नवा शेमशाबाद लेने टेन नोटा डेबेल कोटला तो नहीं इन्वेस्टमेंट उन पेटर हम जरूरत है मेरो � मार को मंचकर नर्सन का बटी सेकंड प्रोजेक्ट कोड़ो यार येरो साइंजेस को नामु मान के 2020 वालो मान के सेकंड प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीट आवाज़ हुआ मैं अप्रॉक्सिमेटली 170 करोड़ बजट तो मैंने 170 फिर रूम रूम्स हुए आदि नेट सेम में ला रेजिडेंस का कोना कड़ा होटल्स एंड रेजिडेंस बुक कामरेशन तो कड़ा Adi complete ini terutama, mana mungkin future lo, amrau itu wajib juga kita, mereka beri place lo guna, tiga puluh bintik mereka, mereka investasi, walau tu continue atau mana, plan jis kuno. Residen sendiri, orang lewat je, one year six months ni stage jis kuno. Kira, akar airport ni airport airport tu, mereka degil juga beriti. Akar residen sokade kau kunda, mana ke orang guest tu, ciri rosu cuma le one half day, one day le lupa orang terkutuk, akar hotel kam residen tu, fiu adi di kalip perdana. Ikan itu orang IT orang terkutuk, beriti kira residen mana ke Nah, urusan hotel sekarang cahaya orang di situ lo. Akar hotel selebu, residence selalu penting. Maka airport dengan orang yang ada di situ, hotel kam residence berada mana plan jis. 170 crores madam, ni lebih rough, approximately 175 crores. Set create jis, walau kita madam, total management tu operation daily operation day to day operation matu, they are taking it. We are not involved in the daily operations. Totally control and control they, them only. They matu walau jis kuntar. Daily operation matu walau jis kuntar. Memu aset क्रिएट जैसे वाले कुटुंब थे। प्रेजेंट वे आर प्लानिंग अंडर प्लानिंग मेडम। जो हमरा वो तेन विषय के बटनों वे प्लानिंग। अरे लैंड एक्वेरेशन को सुन ट्राइजेस्ट नो। लैंड एक्वेरेशन मतलब कंपलसरी का होटल तो कंपलसरी होता है। आईटी एंड वो होटल वे प्लानिंग। Our growth within India, we're certainly very aggressive about where we're going to go. Um, we have currently four properties. This will be the fifth that will open. Um, but certainly we, we, we see India as a, a great uh, growth potential for Oakwood. Um, our brand is very well known within India. Um, our customers that come here are very, very um, aware of what Oakwood can bring and deliver from a, a service um, opportunity, but also from a, a product that we deliver. Um, and certainly in discussions with a number of Indian owners to, uh, to open more Oakwoods in and around the country. Um, it's new for this product, um, but we currently have uh, a number of our assets uh, in and around the region which are hotel and apartments or hotel and residence. What it allows us to do is to be able to, from an owner point of view, is not fit out all of the rooms as service department, but put some as pure hotel rooms. From a cost perspective, that allows a reduction in the overall construction um, uh, costs. But from a, a business point of view, what it allows us to do is, is play within that short stay business, or short stay business, meaning that when a, a customer that may have been with us for a you know, period of time, say uh, a month or, or three months, when they move out, there's that gap between when the potential of a new customer may move in. So we're able to sell that space for that short 
the individual guest who, who may be coming in for a, just a night or a two night or a three night stay, which allows us to maximize our occupancy and grow rate at the same time. So we certainly um, are doing this in a number of our locations around the world. Um, and we see this as a, a, you know, a very attractive business model, um, not only for Oakwood, but also for our ownership. Um, look, I think from an Oakwood point of view, we've been doing this for you know, the last 60 years, and we're certainly the leader in the market in terms of the service department long-stay model. We have very, very um, long-established relationships with key relocation companies, key corporations around the world, um, entertainment, sporting companies. So we certainly have the ability to be able to deliver um, from day one on an occupancy and a revenue point of view for ownership, um, whether it be here in India or in around the region where we operate. Competition um, is, is never going away. Um, we, we certainly um, welcome competition. Um, we are um, and continue to be the number one in terms of uh, the leader in service department accommodations um, in and around the world. And we continue to put not only investment um, through our ownership into assets, but more into our uh, people management um, to grow the talent that we have to be able to deliver um, on expectations of our uh, ever-growing uh, uh, customer base. So how much your investment is in new project? Um, Oakwood, uh, as a company, we don't invest. Uh, we're purely a management um, company. Um, so the owner of the assets invest um, uh, for construction and uh, for delivering the asset that we will manage on their behalf. So your partnership with Capital Group only partnership with Hyderabad or uh, are overall operations partnership? I'm currently only in Hyderabad, uh, where we uh, currently manage uh, the Oakwood residence, uh, Capital Hyderabad here, um, and then what will be the second property that will open in 2021 with them. Um, hoping that the relationship will continue and that they will then move outside of Hyderabad and, and we'll manage more assets on their behalf. Okay, and you also operate the Bangalore and Pune. So we do. So currently we have uh, two properties in uh, Bangalore, uh, one in UB City, um, Oakwood uh, Premier Prestige Bangalore, and uh, Oakwood uh, Residence, or Oakwood Prestige Residence in uh, Whitefield, um, and with a, uh, a property, Oakwood Residence in Pune. Um, what that allows is having uh, multiple locations as our customers travel throughout India and throughout the region. Where there's an Oakwood, that, that means we have the ability to put them into our properties rather than their competitors. Um, so from an Oakwood's point of view, the more assets that we can have and manage within the, the country allows us to offer our customers um, the choice of Oakwood rather than uh, a non-Oakwood property. Oh, sorry, yes. So. Um, Apologies. Yeah, we have uh, assets in 10 countries. So Oakwood's in 10 different countries around the Asia-Pacific region. Um, uh, we're currently 36 operating properties today. Um, over five different products that we have. So we have a premiere, a residence, apartments, studios and suites. Um, and within the Oakwood apartments and uh, residence, we have the hotel and residence and hotel and apartments. So it gives us a, a very wide range of um, products that we can offer our um, owners to, to that we will manage on their behalf, but also from a customer base as well. It allows us to um, reach and touch into all customer bases and all market segments.